Hello creative designers, my name is Peter and on today's tutorial we are just going to learn about FAQ and how to design your own FAQ. What is FAQ before we even get into it? FAQ is start for frequently asked question. What, uh, what is an FAQ? An FAQ page is an organized, uh, we say an FAQ question is an organized collection of valuable information that your customer asks about your product or services. That is my first uh, uh, explanation of an FAQ page, or you can say is a part is a part in your website where ad, uh, where you address common concern, question, or objection that your customers have. It is it has its own benefit. Uh, the first benefit is it improve your customer your customers' experience. That the first one. The second one, it will offer quick information to help customer to make purchasing the decision or not even or for purchasing or it can be offer a solution to a problem the customer is facing. The other thing, they reduce uh, the time your employees need to answer a simple question. That's a good one. It increases uh, your online visibility on Google and other search engine. This one, you, when you use a keyword in your, uh, most of you find when you are, when you are creating your FAQ, you'll have to use some keywords which will help will help indexing in your website. The other thing is you boost your sales since your people will have the basic information to make the decision. That the basic uh, the basic benefit for FAQ in your website. It sound good to have it in your website. So today I'm going to show you. How to create it? I'm going to take you from this uh, to the from the scratch to this final result where you have to something like that. Your customer can also click on the click on it and have the solution for the problem. Yeah, you offer that quick solution to a problem. The other thing we can even include. I'll show you how to include such a link and on click on it. Customer will directed to do another page. That's the lesson for today. Hope you have added some values so far. If you have added some values, hit the like button. Hit the like button for this video. Let's get into action and get it light. Welcome to the dashboard. And from here, we need to go to plugins and check if you have installed the plugin. If you haven't installed the plugin, you need to install the plugin. For now, I'm using Elementor Free Page Builder. If you have not installed it and you don't know how to install a plugin, you just come to here, add new, on click on add new, be directed to this plugin library page, and you type Elementor. You can see here you have it is Elementor page builder from Elementor.com. More than five, more than five million active installation, and you can see it has a rating of more than five thousand, uh, so five thousand users, which offers it a five star uh, rating. It's a good one. Just updated, you can see three weeks ago uh, uh, before I did this tutorial. From there, what you need to do is we go to page and we create a new page, the one that you're going to add the FAQ to. From there, you just have to type FAQ, name the page, and publish it. After publish, you just have to click on Elementor, edit with Elementor. This Elementor dashboard, we are going to design everything in our page. You can see we have the sidebar and we don't need it. We also have this and we don't need it. So you just come to this setting here and page layout, select Elementor canvas. You see it's now a full page. First thing you need to add is a section. After you add the section there, you can style it maybe if you want a background a color if you need a color or whatever whatever you want something which will look good for you yeah the other thing is you come here and you add a title there and you see FAQ click that see help and support just that and you just style whatever you have created. Yeah, I enter the text color, something which can be 
easy to see you can adjust the size you can add some weight you can change the font change the font to mont salad i really like the font see how it look like the other thing is transform you capitalize each and every first letter of each word from there you just come to this this section here and type a condition and you can use you can use this for toggle or this a condition but you're going to use the condition and just drag and drop it from there i'm just going to delete this one and i'm going to edit this one so i come for this icon here i come and i select like that one you see a horn closed active icon you can just search for an icon so you can add something like that or something like that and you see when it's open it looks like that from there i want it to look big i select h1 from there now i come to style i want to style this section here for my first question i increase the width like that maybe something like five and i enter the color something like black you see look good from there i come to title the background i just you can change the background of your title and the other thing is you come to active uh the color of the text it will be black active color can select period yeah when you close it just turn black and when you open it just turn red you see that what it mean the other thing you can just come to topography and set everything search for the family front you want to use i want to use Montsalat. i increase the size you can increase the size like that something visible transform and you can capitalize from there i can just add some padding of maybe something like 30 yeah see that look good from there i come to this icon and i say alignment you can align it where you want it to be if you want it to be on this edge here and you just come and put it here you see look good if you want it to be on here you just have to use it here yeah so you can put it there on that section the color you can put it maybe something a different color however you want it to look like yeah active when it's active you can select another color you see how it look like when active turn blue when not active turn black the other thing from here we come now to this content on this section here so you come and select the background color you can select the one the one will be good for you yeah you can select something like that and the text color now you just have to select one visible from that one so you can select the background if you select background to be black yeah if you select background to be black then the text yeah select the text maybe something like white you see and offer something good yeah but i want the background to be white and i want text to be black yeah that's how it look like and the other thing i just come to funding and i put something like that here yeah you see now you have a first one done so what you need to come is now come and edit edit our first question and say my first question will be how to purchase yeah you can you can use those frequent ask question uh, or those quick answer you want to answer your client or your customers or whoever you are targeting the audience you are targeting the other thing you just say select 
select shop on nav menu so from there go to nav menu like that and you can even select shop on the nav menu select the product select the product you want to buy yeah you just have to include those steps you want yeah from there the next thing you're going to do is you come here and close that one you just have to click on this section it will just open and close duplicate and again you duplicate and you duplicate it to come with the setting for the first one the one you did set so when you just come here and maybe try to edit how to return the product just like that and include that and offer those steps and just come to the third one just close and come to the third one and offer yeah you just have to come and offer your quick question and quick answer without offering uh without even being contacted it will just offer that link if you want to offer this section uh if you want to say go to go to select my account all click here for more yeah i just have to come here and select the one you want and you can include a link like that and you just come to that link copy the link and you insert the link there and click here to close so with that and just come to close it and you update it come to the title and topography style decoration and you underline yeah FAQ help and support yeah you can see it look good that's how you click the FAQ and the update you go to the dashboard and you go to appearance and you go to menu and we add the FAQ just like that and save the menu after that you just have to load the page so you have the FAQ here So you see when the customer comes in here and click what first one will be click here for more if customer click that you'll be elected to that that's how you create the faq support and help it's always good and advisable to have to have it in your website because it will offer much much support even if you're not there that's the work for late